Assassin's Creed is a franchise that has been around since the dinosaurs roamed the earth and is a franchise filled with some absolutely fantastic games. It is also a franchise that in the more recent years has seen a steady decline, just like all the other Ubisoft games, because modern Ubisoft is creatively bankrupt and I know that modern Ubisoft still has their fans and I'm not here to tell you that you are not allowed to like these modern Ubisoft games. I am not your mother, you are free to like these games as much as you want. Modern Ubisoft and old school Ubisoft are two different entities, as modern Ubisoft clearly focus on copying the homework of much cooler studios and trying to make games that appeal to everybody and their mothers. Meaning that a lot of people find these new modern day Ubisoft games pretty mud, me included. The reason I bring this up is because old school Ubisoft was much cooler and made way better games. And one of the last great games old school Ubisoft made was Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Now Assassin's Creed Black Flag was once seen as the best single player open world pirate game. However, 10 years has passed and now Assassin's Creed Black Flag is still seen as the best single player open world pirate game out there right now. That is simply because the gaming industry doesn't want to make pirate games for some reason. They are more occupied making some absolutely classic games like Concord, spending millions of dollars making absolute trash instead of making a single player open world pirate game. Thank you very much gaming industry. Now you might be asking yourself why is Assassin's Creed Black Flag so bloody cool and the answer is pretty simple. Assassin's Creed Black Flag is Sigma. Let's start with the story. The story of Assassin's Creed Black Flag starts with Hugh who plays as Edward the Sigma Kenway, who despite being a drunken mess has somehow managed to get himself a wife. However, he is broke as hell and decides to make a very wise decision to get on that Sigma grind set. However, because TikTok didn't exist during these times and there were no bald buff dudes telling you how to be a Sigma, he had to rely on other means. That means being become a privateer. This is definitely not a code word for I am going to become a pirate. On his adventure, Edward Sigma Kenway finds himself an assassin, who is an assassin that just so happened to portray the Assassin's Creed and is now joining the Templars. He kills him and steals his identity and learns about the observatory and he sees this observatory as the final big score. Along the way he does a bunch of pirate stuff, does some Assassin's Creed stuff and actually becomes an assassin himself. Now Assassin's Creed Black Flag story is pretty cool. I really like the story of Assassin's Creed and is probably my favorite Assassin's Creed story of all of them. And Edward Sigma Kenway is one of my favorite assassins in the Assassin's Creed franchise. Probably the best after Ezio himself who is the most Sigma assassin out of all the Sigma assassins. The characters in the story are pretty good as well. There are a lot of great side characters in this game and some of these side characters like Adewale who barely gets any screen time is somehow still way better of a character than some of the main characters in a lot of the modern Ubisoft Assassin's Creed games, which is pretty impressive and just shows how shit modern Ubisoft is at writing characters. The story of Assassin's Creed Black Flag manages to keep you interested throughout the game. There are a lot of great moments in this game, including the ending. The biggest question people have regarding this game story is how Edward the Sigma Kenway knows how to be an assassin without ever been an assassin and the answer to that question is pretty simple. Edward is Sigma. The gameplay of this game is pretty simplistic yet very fun. The same words are used to describe your mom. The combat system in this game is based on breaking enemies defenses and parrying. You can try to be a dumbass and try and stab these enemies, however most of them will probably block your attacks. This encourages the player to use the counter attacks as well as break breaking the enemy's defenses. This combat system is very simplistic, but like I said, it is pretty fun. It is also held by some actually great enemy AI, which again, modern Ubisoft seems to struggle to make enemies with competent AI. The AI in this game will constantly keep pressure on the player. They will surround the player and will throw some stabs at you from all directions, making the combat look very cool. There is also a decent amount of enemy variety, even though 
though not really that great. It's just okay, but I definitely wish there was more. That being said, a lot of the enemies are actually different to fight, which makes fighting them pretty cool. There is also the ship combat, which is pretty cool in this game, and the way you come across these battles is through the main story or just traversing the open world. Now the game encourages the player to engage in the ship battles, and the reason why is because you get a shit ton of materials, and these materials are used to upgrade your ship, and allows you to transform your ship from the jackdaw into the SS Giga Chad. Probably the coolest element of this game's ship combat is the fact that you can actually fight on the ship. When the enemy ship's health is low enough, you can grapple them and pull them in, and then invade the ship and steal everything on it that isn't pinned down. This is cool and is essential to the pirate theme of this game. Now the other big element of this game's gameplay is of course the stealth, because this is an Assassin's Creed game, and assassins are stealthy. For the most part, automatic stealth systems kind of suck, that is because most games just can't get them right. However, in the case of Assassin's Creed Black Flag, the automatic stealth system is cool, it is awesome, and plays to the game's strength when it comes to stealth. Because the game has an automatic stealth system, and the levels and open world is designed with stealth in mind, the automatic stealth system allows the player to go in and out of stealth at ease, and make the stealth system feel pretty smooth and awesome. This means that stealth in this game is quick and efficient, instead of being slow and tedious, which is an element that I really appreciate and very much like. The stealth is also very much helped in this game by the amount of stealth tools that this game gives to you, and of course these items and tools are pretty awesome and very useful in certain circumstances, so you know, good job Ubisoft. Overall the stealth in this game is pretty awesome, and I really like the stealth system much more than the modern day stealth systems in the modern Ubisoft slop. Now when it comes to the missions in this game, I would say the missions are pretty fun. The missions mainly focus on the two main themes of this game, that being being a pirate and being an assassin. Now I would say that the missions in this game are pretty consistent and fun throughout the game, that is of course until you come across the modern day missions. Now of course these modern day missions are a staple of the franchise, which doesn't mean that anybody likes them, because I am pretty sure everybody on planet earth who has played these games absolutely hate these modern day sections. Sure, maybe these modern day missions worked when Desmond Miles was still part of these games, however now you play as a faceless, nameless, random dude that works in a big building and you play as him in first person, so you know, what the hell is even the point? And yes, I know there is story related purposes for these, but it doesn't change the fact that these missions suck. But hey, at least all the other missions in this game is pretty good, except not really, because this is an old school Assassin's Creed game, and of course there are the tailing missions. These are yet again good examples of missions that everybody hates and was in every single old school Assassin's Creed game for some reason. Now yes, in Black Flag, these missions are pretty much improved from a lot of the older school Assassin's Creed games, and I do understand why they are in the game, as the main focus of these missions is being stealthy. You have to move in and out of stealth, hide among the crowd, make use of the rooftops, and assassinate enemies that are in your way. These missions definitely have a lot of focus on being stealthy. That being said, they still suck. Now, in regards to the open world, there is not much I have to say. This is a Ubisoft open world game, and Ubisoft has never been good at properly filling up their open worlds. And this game is no different, because this game barely has any interesting points of interest. Most of them are just random stuff you find, like treasure chests that contain money, and sea shanties, which, you know, are sea shanties. The only real fun points of interest you can find in this game is probably the assassin side quests, which aren't even points of interest, it's a bloody side quest, and of course the board game, but besides that, all of the other points of interest are so basic to the point that they just kind of suck. However, one thing that Ubisoft has always been good at is making open worlds that are beautiful, and this game is a perfect example of that. And sure, I don't think the game's beauty is an excuse for the poor points of interest. I know that there are some Ubisoft fanboys that use the excuse that the world is so beautiful and immersive that it makes up for the terrible points of interest. It doesn't. But yes, climbing the rooftops of Havana, sailing 
the seas of uh, the ocean. It is truly immersive and absolutely beautiful. Assassin's Creed Black Flag is absolutely fantastic. It is definitely my favorite Ubisoft game of all time and is a somewhat sad reminder that Ubisoft was at a time pretty Sigma. It is also a reminder that we are in desperate need of some single player open world pirate games which for some reason is very scarce. Now I don't really think there's much more to say in this video except for the fact that Assassin's Creed Black Flag is pretty Sigma and mogs all other Assassin's Creed games and has the most skibbity riz. If you have enjoyed this video I would ask you to please consider liking and subscribing. It will really help me understand whether or not people want to see more content like this. That is it for this video. I thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.